Alright everyone, welcome, welcome. This is going to be the first blind let's play of the Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb expansion. I am extremely excited about this game. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Binding of the Isaac. I've watched a lot of Northern Lion and um, play it as well. And this expansion just came out. It's uh, $2.99, but it adds a bunch of new levels, a bunch of new music, a bunch of new items, a bunch of new enemies, all kinds of craziness. Uh, I haven't played it yet, and it looks like we have challenge maps wow uh yeah we're not gonna do that quite yet <laughs> as you can see uh, i do have quite a few items um but as you can see also there's a bunch of brand new ones too uh, i have beat this game quite a few times but it's been a little while oh hey look a new character huh okay so anyways as you see these uh our different characters have different health start speed and attack damage and uh, they'll start with different items uh, Isaac does not normally start with an item, but if you play at certain times and, and get a uh, required um, event done, I guess is one way of putting it, or requirements. If you've met requirements, you get the D6, and the D6 is an amazing item. So we'll start with that. Curse of the Labyrinth, huh? Okay. So anyways, we have our money, we have our bombs and our keys. Um, they're all, you know, money's currency, bombs explode stuff you can use in combat or to find stuff. And keys unlock doors. Here's our main weapon, which we uh, use with our arrow keys. And then our spacebar item, which you use with spacebar. And then the little thing right here is how many charges it has. So once it fills all the way up, you're able to use your spacebar. We have three hearts and our mini map. So it's a lot of Zelda cues and a lot like Zelda in general. Um, and a little bit of roguelike. Whereas um, each individual level, each individual playthrough is going to be a little different. It's all randomized. Uh, this is different. Okay, took some damage going through that. Here's a chest. Oh, spirit hearts. Cool. Um, cool. So I guess it's just a the a possibility of you go through the door, you take some damage. Oh, and damage outside. Okay, so you take that. Now the blue hearts I have are just like my red hearts, but I can't refill these. Think of them as like armor. Um, so once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, but we call those spirit hearts. So let's keep moving along. Oh, some hoppers. Uh, there's this game is a lot harder um, than like if you just bought the game straight out too on mine because every time you beat the game, um, it, it makes it a little harder. And I've beat the game quite a few times to unlock all the secret levels and stuff like that. I'm gonna get a penny and shoot poop, see if there's anything in it. As you can see, this little rock to my left is uh, colored differently, so I'm gonna shift bomb and completely whiff. Damn. Uh, I was going to try and blow that up, and there's would be a possibility of items in there. Well, there would be items, but possibility of uh, spirit hearts, items, keys, etc. Uh, we picked up a tarot card, which we can use with Q. The Lovers uh, gives you two red hearts. So I'm not going to use that quite yet. Okay. Um, you know what? This is a blood bank. I can hit it, and it gives me money uh, for... Um... Oh, wow. Usually it'll give you a blood bag if it blows up, there's a chance, and that raises your max health. But it gave me the unicorn horn this time. Huh. Weird. The My Little Unicorn, if you press space, you use it, and it turns you into this, and it, you're invulnerable and do damage. So it's not bad. But I'm going to get my D6 back, and what the D6 does is I press space, and it changes the item. Hey, not too shabby. Which gives me the odd mushroom, which gives me damage up, and it gave me uh, an extra health. Makes my character a little bigger, but that's okay. So that was good. Whoa! Whoa! Pink and purple. I don't know if that means they're different or just regular champions. Usually if they're different colors, they have different statis uh, statistics or attributes, kind of like a Diablo uh, colored mob. And also they usually hit, instead of a half a heart, uh, a full heart. So... We'll have to be a little careful in here. Might as well use the lovers just in case. So I'm not. I, I don't know what to expect. This game isn't exactly the easiest game ever. Um, it's not super hard, but uh, I'm not sure what the expansion is going to release. Okay, so that wasn't bad. Uh, they do. Um, those I uh, those mobs will always drop items too, or almost always. So it's worth killing them, especially since you don't have a choice. <laughs> okay, here's our boss room. Let's not hit there yet. It looks like I'm a little slower, maybe, too, because of the mushroom. Damn. Let's go around. Every room will have an item room and a shop up until a certain room. 
and uh, another Spirit Heart, and a Tin of Rock. So we could use uh, these guys will split apart, and then I'll run right into them. <laughs> do, 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 do. So nothing too different. Oh, it's Basement XL. Okay, so the original starting floor of the basement is, I'm guessing, an extremely large version. Because normally the first level is super small. And they slowly get bigger as you play along. Shoot the fire just in case. Shoot all the fire and poop that you can. The only thing it's going to cost is your time. And there's a possibility of items. Some, sometimes really good. So we have hoppers. We do have a green hopper too, which is a champion. Doesn't look like he's anything really special. Maybe he has more health. He will do more damage. Drop us a penny. Oop, another spirit heart. That's awesome. A bomb. I'll take that because then we can blow up those uh, tinted rocks. And the D6 only works on like item items, not uh, keys and hearts and stuff like that. Okay, uh, we have the shop here. And we'll have the shop on each floor. They'll have random good items. Uh, the, usually the really good items are about 15 cents though. So usually I don't go until I have 15 pennies. We will definitely use a bomb here. So get us a spirit heart. I don't think this will be a good idea, but let's try it. Okay, so it paid for itself. Key for a key and a penny. Take that, I guess. Let's go this way. We haven't found the item room yet. Man, this I'd already be on like the third floor probably if it wasn't for this being so super huge. Whoa, the a fork. Isaac's fork. Uh. Uh. Whoa, that that's bomb. Control, that's bomb too. Great. I just wasted two bombs trying to figure out what the fuck Isaac's fork is. Okay, well, oh well. I'll, I'll figure it out eventually or someone will tell me. Wow, two item rooms? Really? Well, that's awesome. If, there, if there's really two item rooms, one's probably a trap. There's a bunch of memes and... and oh, wow, Isaac's fork. I, I guess I recover health every certain amount of kills or every room's cleared. I'm not sure. Let's check down here. What the hell is that? There's so many new items. Dead dove. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, this game's a little twisted, by the way. Oh, okay, so I can fly. I'm guessing I'm flying. That's super useful. Uh, that's the forget. Oh, and I have uh, uh, spiritual shots. Um, so they it goes through stuff. So that's okay. That's that's cool. I guess it's it's annoying to try and kill poop and fire with. But, because uh, it doesn't always hit. Uh, but this will be really useful, actually. Um, normally, I would do this on a... This will... Um, the wafer. Oh, damage resistance. Never mind, actually. I almost... I thought that was a forget-me-now. Um, the wafer. So I, I take half damage now. Uh, I don't think it'll work on this, because I'm already taking only half a heart. But later on, I'll start taking full hearts. So it'll... Oh, a nickel. Nice. Kind of run through this a little bit. So later on, I'll, I'll, I'll still always be taking half heart, supposedly. You can kill yourself on this too, by the way. <laughs> I want to get a blood bank out of it. You can blow these up as well. Half heart, but I do have some spirit hearts to help me. Oh, this is so nice. See, with the, the dead dove, I can fly over rocks and shoot through them. That's useful. Let's open this up. What the hell is that? Safety cap. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, these are the trinkets. Uh, hit escape. Can I see what these do? Nope. Nope. No, I don't want you to die. Okay, so safety cap. I don't know what that does. Let's use the fork because I'm low on health, and I think this will give us some health every once in a while. We'll blow up our machine and only get a penny. That kind of sucks. But now we have the amount of money to go down and um, let's go, we'll go to the shop. A lot done for one floor. And now I can just go over stuff and collect the items. The, this, this dead dove is an amazing item. Similar to like uh, Lord of the Pit or Transcendence, which were old items. Go. Looks like a Mother Mary card. That's weird. 
shoot the poop just in case. This is just a little shopkeeper guy's being hung. Hmm. Prayer card. So it gave us a spirit heart and a new white heart. I don't know what that does. Some kind of armor, I would assume. Um, don't want to get rid of my D6 yet. So let's D6 it. Ah, Steam Cell. <laughs> yes, Steam, like uh, the Steam platform. So now everything's half off for the rest of the game. So that's, that's good. And as you can see, I, I now have a little Steam Cell uh, price tag on me. What's really cool is seeing how your character looks because of all the different uh, items that you get. Okay, we'll blow up this. Man, that's a lot of items for one floor. Paid for itself and gave me a spirit heart. Very nice. You will you won't be this powerful normally on the non-expansion because you have one only. You know you probably won't have the amount of money to go to the store. There will only be one um, uh, one of the item rooms, etc. Okay, so uh, one of the main original bosses, Monstro. Oh, he looks like he's a champion version. I'm not sure what he does that's different, but uh, we shouldn't have any problem with him. He does have a little bit of health uh, compared to some of the other ones, like a Larry Jr. or a... Well, this would be an easy first boss. But pretty much if you stand close to him, he'll just keep trying to jump on you. If he looks like he's about to spit, you just back up. Oh, okay, the champion version. I'm guessing this one doesn't jump. Uh, similar to like a, a Dragoon Leap in a Final Fantasy, he jumps off the screen and then lands where you, wherever you were when he jumped. And he shoots out the little red blood tears when he does it. So he's not doing that, which is fine because that means I can continually attack him. Get hit a couple times. The hell is... I don't... The, the big thing about Binding of Isaac is knowing the mobs. Why is there another boss room? You know the you know all the mobs, so you know what they're gonna do. You know their patterns, um, and then you know what all the items are, so you know which items you want to tailor it. And now that I don't know any of that, oh wow, health up, stem cells. Oh god. <laughs> oh, nice. We got a total recall. Uh, dead baby on our face. Awesome. Okay, here's Larry Jr., one of the really easy first bosses, especially since we can do this. I can just sit on this, and he wouldn't be able to hit me. But, yeah, that's beside the point. Also, hit this guy in the middle. If you hit him in the middle and destroy one of his parts, which you'll see in a little bit, there's a, a possibility of it chain reacting like that and hitting more of them. So, if you can, I mean, survivability obviously first when you're not running into shit. Um... <laughs> uh, he does, he, so he goes around, he shoots stuff uh, for the green version, and he poops. <laughs> but since we can fly over everything, this guy is super easy. Oh, okay. Uh, health up, maybe? Tears and health up. Fuck yeah. These new, so tears up or I'm going to shoot faster. That's awesome. Okay, so that counted as two levels then, and you get a little, his nightmares. <laughs> People pooping on him. <laughs> Uh oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Maybe it healed me. Maybe there's like a random something that happened. I don't know. Oh, bomb flies. Uh, these, when you kill them, will explode like a bomb. You can use those to, uh, like if you think of secret rooms along the edge or a, a door, you can actually blow them up near that and it'll count like that and open it up. A lot of information off the bat. I'm apologizing, but nice. Since I, can, since I fly... Since I can fly, I can just like the mob trap or gauntlet rooms, you can fly through it without taking damage or paying for it. So let's see. Oh, spiders. Great. Th these are new mobs too. Kind of looks like just like the red flies. They they're fast and kind of come after you. Nothing, nothing too bad. Even though I can't hit them. And another one. Ooh. I don't know why I got hit that time. And a and our orange fire and a yellow. Whoa! What the? F what hit me? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. Did that shoot something at me, or was I too close to it? What happened? It must be that I, I was... What is going on? <laughs> Maybe stem cells, it's like degenerative? So I take damage every once in a while? I don't know. It's The thing about uh, being either a new Binding of Isaac player, or in this case, uh, the expansion, um, you don't know what's going on, and that makes this game so much harder. 
Um, these guys don't attack if you're, uh, they won't pop up if you're attacking them, otherwise they're invulnerable. So you just kind of stand around and, and try and bait them up. Oh, God. The, uh, I'm so slow right now, an actual speed upgrade wouldn't be a bad idea. The red ones, although they do more damage and shoot more, um, they have no protection when they're down. So you can, especially if you have good range, just sit back and hammer away at them. Okay, what was this again? Just a room of... But I'm... Oh, wow. Even if I'm flying, I can hurt myself on that. I wonder what this is used for. It's got to be used for something. Uh, you know, just hurting yourself, I can't... I wonder what it's used for. Maybe if you hurt yourself enough, it, it gives you something? I don't know. Okay, so I pick up three more pennies. I'm going to continue along. We want to find the item room. Uh, we don't have the money for the shop, which we found earlier. Jeez Louise, I am so slow. It's really hard to dodge with, with this uh, with my speed. I don't know if that's from Dead Dove or one of the other items I picked up. Okay, just bait them up a little bit. There we go. No item. Oh, I hate these guys. They uh, come at you and uh, shoot stuff at you. It's really irritating. But the fact, literally the fact that we could fly is going to make this run through so much easier. Like, especially considering how rusty I am because I haven't played uh, for a long, long, long time. What the fuck? I, I'm assuming this is one of what uh, you could call like a, um, a support uh, a buddy, a comrade, a compatriot. <laughs> He should probably fly around and shoot stuff for me. Harlequin, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, see, he's going to follow around and he's going to do like a little S shot. A little spread shot for me. Okay. The little eyeless oozes. These guys will, um, they just run after you and uh, you, they can regenerate just like a red skeleton in Castlevania um, if you don't kill them when they go into the mush. Oh, okay, Gertie, another old boss, but it's a champion version. I'm going to shoot these little nub things first. I don't know why there's a white one. They usually, once they get really big, they'll start... Uh, they'll start shooting at you like a turret. Let's get rid of them. Okay, so this Gertie doesn't shoot himself. Usually he'll do like a little uh, spread shot, but it looks like he uh, summons a lot of mobs. That's okay. With our little S-shot uh, Harlequin baby, we'll be good. So just gonna keep hammering away at him. Watch out for the grandfather fly shooting stuff at us. Kill the nub that he's spawning and the little flies. Oop, oop. This this little uh, Harlequin baby is pretty awesome. A little spread shot. Alrighty. Oh, there goes Gertie. Finish off the last one. Boom. Oh, nice. Uh, this should be the pentagram, which gives me a lot of damage up. And I am a freaking nasty looking little thing. <laughs> okay. So now we're on the fourth level. We're getting pooped on again. <laughs> Curse of the Lost. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I'm assuming maybe we're going to lose our mini map as we go along. I don't know. So it's it, like every level there's a possibility of some random statistic maybe is what's going on. Oh, troll bomb. They do have a lot of meme references in the game, which is fun. Gish is actually a um, a cameo from one of um, the creator's uh, other games that he's made, which is really cool. Another good game. He, this guy, really makes Edmund McMillan makes fan freaking tastic games. I mean, if I didn't mention it yet, Super Meat Boy uh, was a really good game, if not hard as crap. Same thing with Binding of Isaac. It can be pretty hard, especially if you don't know. Um, patterns and mobs and items and stuff. But once you do it, it's so much fun. Okay, here's our blood room, for lack of a better term, or torture. <laughs> As we fly along with our little uh, spermy looking self. <laughs> Demo the demonic sperm that is us. Alright. Okay, okay, so I Isaac's Fork gave me some health. So it's every so many rooms, I think. Oh, okay, so every once in a while you're gonna find um, some of the sins. So uh, the uh, deadly sins as uh, su sub-bosses. 
Envy is really easy as you attack different parts. He breaks up into smaller ones that move faster and just bounce around the room. So, easiest way to do it, just focus on one as it breaks. And then, because if you keep focusing on the big ones, uh, they'll keep breaking and they'll fill up the entire room. <laughs> and depending on what your dodge abilities are and uh, your attack, it can be really difficult. Okay, he's almost dead. Dead. Alright. Okay, so uh, shoot the whoop. Firing my laser is a spacebar item. As you can see, spacebar. I do not want that. <laughs> so we'll re-roll it. Okay. Stigmata damage plus health. Plus possibly something else. If you hit escape, you can see your stats. I don't know what that does. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, damage and health are freaking fantastic. My favorite uh, abilities in the game. So we'll, uh, we'll go with that. Okay, red chest. What is a red chest, I wonder? So... F oh, okay, so it's just maybe a possibility of a random anything, like even a monster. Because gold chests take uh, keys to open. Gray chests are just free. Okay. Feeling pretty powerful right now. Okay, so we should be able to fly through this without getting hurt because we're flying. A pill. Once again, pills... Wait, two pills, I guess. Uh, you don't know what pills are. So even if you remember what a white and blue pill is in one, the next time you play the game, uh, it's not going to be the same. So let's hit Q, range up. Okay, and now white and blue pills for this run are range ups. So now we're going to have just... We're going to shoot across the entire screen. Awesome. I still took damage. Darn it. Uh, we haven't found the item room yet, so let's let's move along and try and find it. You know what? Yeah, sometimes if you don't take a lot of damage on a ma on a level, uh, eventually you can get what's called uh, deals with the devil. And after you beat the boss on the the level, there's a chance that you can spend your hearts and get really good items from Satan. Um, so usually, if you find the boss real quick and you haven't taken damage, sometimes you go fight him because you'll have a better chance because you haven't. You hopefully you don't take as much damage. Uh, but considering that I have no idea, sometimes there's a an enemy that can pop up in the deal with the devil room and now with the expansion who knows what can happen so I think I'll just go look around first a three dollar monopoly bill is what it looks like a monopoly dollar huh well, could wait for my d6 to revive which is like another uh, room or two and then I could re-roll this but I kinda wanna see what this is three dollar bill random tears I uh, don't know what that did. Maybe it randomized my tier speed or something. What the? F what the fuck? I just shot out a monstro tooth. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and figure it out. I because I there's there's just no way. Edmund Camillan is a sick, sick, wonderful, wonderful man. And uh, trying to understand what the hell's going on in his brain is just going to be impossible. <laughs> so yeah, and it does look like um, Isaac's fork. It just every so many cleared rooms is going to give you uh, some health back. Not terribly great, but, eh, you know, for free. I, I need some speed. A speed up uh, anything would be really nice because I'm just, it's really hard to dodge some of the things with my gigantic spermy head. <laughs> Key. We'll check out the store. There is a possibility every once in a while that there's a, uh, one of the sins greed is in here instead. So you won't be able to get the items for that floor, which sucks. And he can steal money from you. Um, the Book of Revelations is really a good item. You can, um, every so many rooms, use it to give you spirit hearts. You know, I'm actually going to take that and leave my D6 behind because I have no idea what to expect and the extra armor would be nice. Plus, um, most of the items I'm going to find, I'm probably going to pick up because uh, there will be new items. And I'll want to see what they are. 
instead of re-rolling them with the D6. So, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, so far, really good items. Uh, the Book of Revelations is a really good item. Um, it's able to keep... Oh, these guys are like the guys that spit, but when you shoot... I'm so slow. When you shoot them, they're going to... Uh, Oh, what the hell? Now I have a three shot? So every every room, it looks like I'm going to have different tier effects. That's not necessarily good. Thank you, $3 bill. Because <laughs> I would have I would have taken that three, the three shot right there. That was nice. Possibility for extra damage. Damage and health in this game, as far as I'm concerned, is the, are the best uh, things you can get. Okay, might as well continue exploring. We have a pink bomb fly. Once again, no idea what that does. Uh, the red ones will shoot. Uh, will shoot stuff like that when they die. The gray ones explode. The pink ones, for all I know, end my game. Oop. As, as, <laughs> as the NVIDIA settings uh, uh, errors. See? Pink pink flies they, they can give you a windows error <laughs> okay now this is a gauntlet room you go in here you uh, grab the chest and you got to go through three waves of monsters for it uh, now since I'm flying I'm gonna take it I'm gonna give us poison touch and I'm gonna fly out for free <laughs> I like it poison touch um, if someone touches me uh, not only do I take damage like normal but now I'll uh, give them a, a dot a damage over time on them that's going to do a lot of damage on them so it's not really an item I'm really fond of because if I get hit I, I'd prefer just not to get hit <laughs> but oh well I digress from my random tangent let's continue okay okay so pestilence one of the horsemen of the apocalypse uh, since we can fly that green slime that he's leaving the creep he's not going to damage me so I'm just going to sit back, avoid his grenades, avoid the silkworms that he's creating. Oh, we blew up his head, so now he can't make silkworms, but he'll spawn flies. Yeah, this, this Harlequin baby is doing a lot of damage. Okay, so we got a cube of meat. Let's see if any of you recognize this. Okay, so the, nothing yet, but this is going to prevent... If uh, uh, a bullet hits that, instead it'll uh, destroy the bullet. And it'll, it's like a little uh, floating shield for me. We do have a deal with the devil. And then if I get another cube of meat, I'll see if you uh, notice what it turns into. Okay. Uh, that's Lord of the Pit on the right, which makes me fly, and it might do something else. And then I, there's a quarter. And then that's how much it costs, how many hearts below. Um, do I want that quarter for 20 you know what? No, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little conservatively. Usually I'm super reckless in this game, but I would actually like to beat the game for you guys so you can see as much as possible. Okay, so now we're going down to the depths. Uh, my mom got me a wig. Whoa! Necropolis. Oh god. The music sounds cool. Okay. Oh god, headless horseman without well without. Wow, he just ran straight into the uh, spike and killed himself. Awesome. Rusted key. Sure. You got the little Zelda spikes. If you run up to them, they come after you. That's cool. Okay, our book of revelations is up. So I'm going to use that. Little fistula boss. A little boss that they have as a sub. I'm going to sit back. That green turret in the middle is new too. Same effect. You, can, you saw Pestilence doing that earlier, but um, now it's a turret form. The little, the little faces in the middle, uh, you can't kill. Or there might be a way to kill it, but I, I don't know how. Shit, I'm losing all my spirit hearts. Uh, I got too much stuff to look at! Oh, okay, rusted key. So it shows me where the secret room is, maybe? No, 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 the, it, the bomb blew it open, I think. Oh, there's Greed. So he has a chance to sh appear in the secret room, too. Oh, see, as you, as I uh, get hit by him, I, I lose um, money. I can give, I can pick it up again, but I think he always every hit he'll take a coin that you can't get back. Period. So keep shooting him. He'll have a chance to drop uh, a bunch of money. Sometimes the steam cell, which I already have. Mm, sure, let's go through. Here. Nope. 
a, a, a homing troll bomb. All right. <laughs> Ouch. Whoa. Uh, corn infused poop and walking nubs. It looks like, and white flies. Fuck. Jesus. All kinds of new mobs. Ah! Get away from me. <laughs> oh yeah, eat a bunch of those too. Okay, so the flies just are like armored, and then you can't you can't damage them until you kill the poop that they're around. Then they turn into regular red flies, I guess. All right. Okay. Continue along. Bunch of turrets. Gotta be careful with the stupid green ones because they're AOE grenades. Fistula again, which is pretty easy. Stay back. We're gonna use these huge range upgrades we got because these grenades and turrets are annoying. Oh, God, I wish I had more speed. Keep charging up. Oh, let's see if we can get him to run into this again. Just sit behind this. Oh, yeah! Oh, damn it. I thought I'd be fast enough. Okay, well, he killed himself on that again, which is always a plus. Um, kind of want to use that, but considering I got a My Little Unicorn horn instead of the Blood Bank last time, it doesn't look like you just get... Oh, new item. Give up Book of Revelations, huh? Okay, so it looks like it like blasts from heaven or something. What is it called? Crack the sky? Okay, yeah, no thanks. I'll blow up the blood bank, see if we can get anything out of it. Ah, uh, heart. I'll take that. Green nubs. Oh, oh god. We found two secret rooms, huh? Just, usually there's just one per stage, but since this is one of the new stages... I guess it has different rules. And it didn't even have... What the... F sure. Because I don't know what the rusty key does either. God, it's, it sucks. Like, the good idea would be to Wikipedia all the new items to figure out what they are, but like half the fun is trying to figure out what they are anyway. But from a gameplay... Oh! push pin. I see, I see how the items came to me. It's uh, like one of the magnet items. So maybe that's the push pin item. Oh god, this, it creates... It's like a, a spider ball. That's gross. Okay, I'll take a key for a key. <laughs> what the fuck? Telepathy for dummies book? Two of them? Okay, so it, it gives me homing shots. Hmm. Not sure what that does. It maybe gives you like a tear effect when you use it for that room. What the fuck are those? What do they do? Okay, so they just they just shoot two different ways. Fat fat flies. Oh, oh god! Assuming maybe you gotta shoot the hearts. Okay, yeah. Jeez Louise, some of these new enemies are gonna be rough. Okay, so we wanna shoot the poop. So we can get the item, so we can get these guys to appear. Or be vulnerable for that matter. Continue to look around, man. These stages are huge. Uh, the slot machine you can play and uh, get possible items. I want nothing to do with it, so I'm gonna blow it up. I might as well explore the rest before the boss fight. I mean, every oh god, oh god. Now these that sh shoot grenades, these are gonna be rough. They'll, so they they'll usually they'll follow you around and usually hem you in. Um. Once again, the fact that I'm flying seriously was one of the most awesome items I could have got. Another store. Okay, this is even better. The battery is going to 
make this I'm getting really lucky this time this normally won't happen what's gonna happen is as I'm in combat um, my spacebar item will recharge so that's amazing so I don't have to wait the, the you know three to six rooms depending on the item okay war um, another one of the horsemen this will give me the next upgrade I was talking to or talking about with um, uh, the, the cube of meat and uh, we'll get a little cameo. Okay, hopefully we, hopefully one of these troll bombs hits the tinted rock there, so I don't have to waste one. Keep hammering away as we recharge. Okay. War's not very hard. Oh, get the tinted rock! Get it! Yeah, buddy. Two more spirit hearts. Now he can't fly on his horse, so he'll just chase me around. Uh, luckily, I'm fast enough to where he's not gonna. Oh, look how cute he is. He won't be able to catch me. Which is nice. Okay. So we got our s another spirit heart. And a cube of meat. And hey, look what that looks like. Almost like Super Meat Boy. So now we got another guy firing for us. And then uh, if you have the D6, you can't re-roll the cubes of meat. Unless they've changed that in the expansion pack. So don't try. You're always going to get the cube of meat from the uh, horseman. Okay. Continue along. Man, I'm a freaking funky. Oh, it looks like a champion version. Okay, now I have. Now I have the ability to petrify with my shots. I don't know, like some. The push pin or something's giving me, like. A, or no, it's probably the $3 bill. Is giving me a tier effects. So he'll chase you. You can drop a bomb in front of him, and if he goes through and eats it, uh, it'll, it'll do a lot of damage on him. So another spirit heart, another spirit heart from that. Um, even though it doesn't look like I'm gaining any, it's actually just off the screen. You just can't see it um, in the game, so it's still worth getting. Leapers. But yeah, the fact that we can fly over stuff and shoot through stuff is huge. I mean, that's, it's, it's kind of a game breaker. Okay, we'll go in the item room. Uh, that's a useless item as far as I'm concerned. The hourglass, what you do is you hit it, and um, it slows down all the enemies. Um, so think of like a Castlevania's uh, clock. I'm not a big fan of it personally. It's not useless, but I don't know. There's better items. <laughs> Grab the items and go because we can fly. Keep looking around. We are starting to get kind of close to the end. Okay, I can't. Okay, now I have uh, boomerang tears. God, I can't tell what's going on because every every level my tier effects change and or every room I can't keep up with it. So, yeah, I got the. Exp oh God, Chub, go away! As you shoot him, usually he'll get smaller too, and uh, he'll get faster that way. This is another champion, and he, he uh, drops green um, green nubs. Annoying. Okay. Oh, fetuses. These are these are pretty rough enemies too. Uh, they they move around towards you. They can teleport and they shoot stuff. Okay. It's really annoying to have my bo shots boomerang. Cause, oh god. Okay, these are gluttonies and I'm I'm getting rocked by them right now. Uh, but they, as you can see, they once they see you, they'll shoot that way. And then there was like a special gluttony with the head. Once again, the fact that I can fly is going to make everything different. Um, also, we have the damage resistance, I believe, too. So, um, when everybody... Ooh. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, God. <laughs> a, a super wrath. Okay, this is yet another one of the uh, sins. Um, normally, it's wrath, and it's like Bomberman, and he'll drop bombs to hit you. Like that. Oh, but since it's super wrath... He shoots more damaging bombs, and they home on you. Oh, God. Did I tell you how awesome it is that I can fly? <laughs> the devil card. I don't know what that does. So we picked up Mr. Mega. Our bombs are going to have bigger blast radius, and we have a little cracked-out Bomberman head. Okay, the devil is a, a, it damages everything in the room. And you know, let's let's we're we're close enough to the boss. I, I don't I found the. Okay, this is the first boss. 
Uh, this will be the first boss that you fight when you first start playing the game. This will be the end. Um, now, once you beat a certain amount of times, they add new levels to after this. So, if you don't want to see uh, the extra levels, um, I would stop watching after this. Uh, this would literally be beating the game. But since I've beaten it so many times, like I said, uh, you, I have uh, more levels to play. Okay, just keep hammering away. Watch out for her foot. Uh, her foot will actually kill uh, her little enemies. And if you're if you're good, you can actually have her step on her eye or something like that if you're close enough. But if you get too close, like the eye or the her little uh, 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 folds of fat is what I was trying to say. Uh, her hand will come out and grab you, which does a lot of damage. Like I said, uh, like five times, and I'm getting hit by stupid stuff. Is my battery not recharging? I don't think my uh, Book of Revelations is recharging. I'm getting hit a lot. Jesus juice. Okay, range and tears up, <laughs> and a white heart. I wonder what that is. Some kind of spirit heart, I'm guessing. All right, well, let's head down. Oh, we got a. Oh, <laughs> that kid needs to stop laughing at his ass hat. Okay, so we're in the womb now, and we have a curse of darkness. Once again, no idea what that does, but in the womb. Oh, look, uh, our mini-map. The Curse of Darkness means I guess we can't see our mini-map. Uh, in the womb, everything does one full heart of damage like if everybody was a champion. But since we have the... Um, that was nice. Since we have that ability to reduce damage, the wafer, uh, we'll, it'll be uh, really nice. We won't be able to take all that extra damage. Maybe your spacebar items don't recharge in uh, the mom fight anymore. Maybe you did that. Okay, Plasticist, which is just a normal sub-boss. Uh, considering how powerful we are at the moment, he shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, this Book of Revelations was a good find. Since I took so much damage in the mom fight, I'm going to be able to replenish my health. Or my uh, quantity of spirit hearts. Uh, the Star Tarot card that I picked up a little bit ago um, shows you the mini-map. Like, the whole, it reveals the whole map, I believe. Actually, I'm not sure. I forget. We'll uh, try it after this uh, room. Now, let's say you don't want to deal with this room. You could put a bomb right here, and it'll explode the door open, and you can leave. Um, now, if you got to come back through here, uh, you would have to fight all this again. So, it's... Oh, no, this... Stars just randomly sends you somewhere, maybe. I don't know what Stars does. We don't have keys to open that. And the, the fact that I can't see where I'm at in the womb is terrible. Because usually, um, the womb, there's no more uh, item room. There's no more store. Um, everything hits a lot harder, so you want to pretty much just get to the boss room as fast as possible. But we have no idea where that is. Okay, I'm going to cheat the game a little bit, and as they come near me, instead of having to dodge and think, I'm just going to move on to the rock so they can't hit me. Once again, flying breaks games. Okay, here's our, our little clone of us. He'll do everything that we do. So you can try and just do, you know, little fancy dodges or stuff like that. Or you can drop a bomb and then move him into it. Or, if I kill these... Yep. I could just move him here and he would move to the opposite side and stand on the spikes and die. So you can do it either way. And that the star sent me. Whoa! No go away. So once again, if I go back into that room, that bomb's still gonna be in there. Okay. The hero font will drop more spirit hearts. Definitely want that. Just kind of blindly <laughs> trying to find the boss right now. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, it's it's a uh, 
a fetus baby, I guess. Uh, I don't know what they're calling it, but it, it so it's just like the regular fetuses, but it shoots a, a, a triple shot, which can be really irritating. Let's go right. Oop, a clone. And now see that little, um, the little key symbol block there? It's preventing me from being able to, well, it's supposed to prevent me from being able to kill him, but, uh, eh. Now I can just spend a key to get rid of it. Oh, vaginal silkworms. Yes, I think that's what they're actually called. They're really fast, you just gotta be careful. There actually are bomb ones, too, that explode when you kill them. You gotta be careful with that. Empress. The Empress either brought down the foot. Oh, death. Another horse. So we're going to get another Meat Boy item. Nice. Castlevania 2 reference. Um, we're going to get a shoot ton of uh, damage. That was death using that. And uh, we can fly, but uh, we already have that. Actually, actually, I don't think it normally we could fly. It's because we're already flying. It uh, changes to look like this. Okay. So anyways, we're, we're going to get a lot of damage for this room is what that card did. Eve actually starts with another another white armor. But Eve will actually start with this. It's called the Horror of Babylon item. And uh, whenever she gets down to half a heart of uh, all of her um, max health, she'll uh, go into this mode. So if you then build spirit hearts on top of that, she'll always be in this mode. Okay, and now we have literally Super Meat Boy. He'll go around and hit, uh, chomp on people for us. Okay, the womb too. Oop, looks like we got healed again. I'm assuming that's what it does. Or it gave us a max heart. I think it just heals us. If nothing else, we can see again. Okay, so it's like the big, the big brain uh, monster, but and the guts combined on this one guy here. Okay, let's. You know what? We're killing this guy first. Clone, die. Meat Boy's eating him. Eating the guts. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. So it's uh, like the brain enemy normally, but it's the... Yeah. <laughs> if you played the game, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't played the game, I'm not making any sense. So <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. My subs are smart enough. You guys will understand. <laughs> You'll figure it out after just looking at it a few times. God, the, the, these uh, eyes suck. They shoot just across the entire map. And I can't believe I dodged all that, especially with this jackass. <laughs> those, those, those eyes are really irritating sometimes. Oh, Loki, another sub boss. Spawns uh, bomb flies and does that. Blew up myself. Nice thing is you can uh, damage Loki with his own bomb flies. Should be done now. Close one. Another key, mob trap room. We'll pop in. Speed and damage, growth hormones. God, oh my my character is fucked up looking. I definitely wanted the speed and the damage is always welcome. We'll just float over this. Grab all kinds of money and a bomb. Take that. You know, as many bombs as we have, let's look for secret rooms. Pfft, lucky. It's just some money. That's fine. Uh, money's kind of useless now just because there are no more shops. But you can use them in the items called the arcades, which will have slot machines and the blood banks. And a little shell game. Or you can use them on just the random slot machines and stuff. There's also another little guy called Judgment that you can find every once in a while. And if you give him money, he'll randomly give you items. You don't know how much money, you don't know what items, but um, it's usually if you have the extra money like I do, it would be awesome to find them and donate. Okay. Pretty easy room so far. I mean, seriously, usually in the womb, the you're fighting bosses and sub-bosses every room, but uh, so far I've gotten pretty lucky, it seems like. Little spiders aren't hard to deal with at all, actually. So it's nice that they're. Oh, there's our arcade. Um, and unlike uh, stores or item rooms and stuff, you spend a uh, penny to get inside of it instead of a key. 
So I'll go in there just to show you. So see there's a slot machine. Here's this guy. You can play him and uh, possibly win stuff. Oh hey, a spirit heart. That's really lucky. If you play as Kane, he has an item called the Luck Foot, and you'll have better chances to win. Let's blow this up. Okay. Yeah, paid for itself. The chariot. Um, what did that do? The chariot, I think. I don't know what the chariot did. I think it was like some type of uh, attack ability card. I don't remember. Okay, let's blow you up. Oh my, dude, dude, Meat Boy, you kicked it into me, bro. Not cool. Okay, is this not? Can I not kill him? Okay. Hangman uh, gives me transcendence, so for a um, room, I fly. Which I already fly, so it doesn't matter. More money. Ooh, a dime. That's cool. So ten cents instead of the nickel. They didn't have that in the uh, other one. Let's see what the chariot does. Oh, it gives me unicorn horn. Oh, that's right. So as you can see, I'm just doing damage as I run into them, and I'm invulnerable. Nice ability. Oh, two lusts. So this is another one of the sins uh, sub bosses, but there's just two of them. Okay. Stupid meat boy's too slow to get to him. <laughs> Let's use our amazing damage and items, and to get hit. Chariot. Okay. And a new colored pill, huh? Telepills just randomly teleported me somewhere. Um, I'm actually gonna go back. I'm gonna get the chariot just in case. It'll be my little oh shit card. If oh, we're in utero. Okay, I okay. <laughs> Instead of the womb. New uh, level name. So maybe it's maybe it's easier because the womb too should be a lot harder than this, even with my character as powerful as he is. Actually, am I am I a he anymore, or am I just like a freaking it? This <laughs> I got. I, I've injected myself with multiple needles. I have growth hormones going on. I have uh, a dead dove shoved into me that makes me look like a flying sperm. <laughs> I have issues. <laughs> okay going oh, what the it's like a mini Gertie oh my god was not expecting that uh, he did get poison touch though because he touched me what the fuck oh my god it's like a it's like a mini Gertie combined with guts and poop <laughs> you'll never hear that in any other game <laughs> anywhere okay hopefully the boss is like just like coming up here pretty soon because what the some hearts Okay, Meat Boy's gonna eat them. I'm not sure what the hearts do. They just, I guess they just fly away from you. It's like almost like a skinned uh, fly, a reskinned fly. Huh. Oh well. Oh god. Because I can fly, I just get them on the spikes. Okay, so these are like the double flies, but they're the spiders, so they're fast and they split uh, when you uh, kill them. Sloppy, sloppy. Uh, Magician just gives you homing tears for one, uh, one uh, room. Uh, I could care less about that. Mobile nubs and a clone. Actually, you know what? Flying once again. The seriously, flying is way overpowered. Okay, what's our boss? It lives. Okay, so it's this is um, the what would normally be the final boss. But um, if you beat the game quite a few amount of times, um, another final secret level opens up and a final secret boss. So once again, if you don't want to see possible spoilers, um, I would stop watching now. But the strategy with this one is chill or heal, depending on how you look at it. Uh, keep spawning mobs and uh, bosses every turn. Kill them. Now you drop a bomb when it comes down and if you don't have a meat boy that kicks it out of the way you do uh, some like free damage dude meat boy you're fucking killing me here bro <laughs> come on brah okay dude meat boy fuck 
zombies. You can't attack. You can't um, hurt them from the front. Let's see if I can get a couple. Nope. Juked at the last minute. Anyways, I hate these guys. They're they're irritating to fight because you gotta you gotta actually use strategy. I don't like strategy. For someone starting to become known for a sieve. <laughs> okay, so see how much damage we were able to do. I kicked that one out myself. All right, that's the uh, Duke of Flies, another boss you can fight. Oops. A little early on that bomb, but I have so many, I'm not really too worried about it. I'm just kind of blowing through them. Okay, so now that she's about 45% health, she's just going to start throwing grenades. Okay, so you got to watch out for the, the glowing stuff on the ground because that will damage you. The fact that we have so many spirit hearts, the battery to continue our spirit hearts, and we're only taking half damage makes makes everything. Okay, normally, what the? Why do I have a terrible feeling about this? What the hell? Cool. Well, this is new to me. Uh, well, but we will do the same tactics we always do. Peace. If you're a Binding of Isaac player, you know what, where I was supposed to go for the last level, and this is the another version of it. I guess is one way of putting it. I don't want to spoil anything. Okay, so we have greed, which is just getting rocked. Bunch of money we don't need. I will continue to. Empty room. Amass spirit hearts. You know the drill. Another sub boss. But since we're at this level, you know, this far into the game, you, you fight sub bosses and bosses left and right, if not multiple ver uh, versions or champion versions. The world. That's going to show us where everything is. Uh, random pill. Balls of steel. That'll give us two more spirit hearts. Okay, so this is the wrong way, so let's go this way. Uh, secret room is going to be here. Oh, 99 bombs. What the f... <laughs> God, my, this is one of the ugliest characters I've ever had because of all these new items that are pretty awful looking. <laughs> okay, oh wow, a white... Bomb fly. Okay, I don't know what these are gonna do if I kill them. Oh! Okay, so they, they are, they're fast. They explode. They, I think they just have the little flies around them that can do damage to you, I'm assuming. Okay. Horseman. Keep shooting. Okay. There we go. Another spirit heart. Man, I, I'd love to know how many spirit hearts I have. This is ridiculous. Uh, a miniature Monstro 2 champion. Now, the way to kill him, just see this. You can cab him so he always continues to shoot his little beam, his little shoot to whoop. If you sit here and just let him charge up, when he does that little smile, it means he's about to do it. So, just keep strafing, circle strafing around him. And done. I really want to see what this thing is up here. Okay. Oh, God. So yeah, it looks like the white ones, they just have the little fly around them. So they still explode like normal. Um, they just have those little flies. I'm assuming they probably do one other thing. I just don't know what. This type of shop or something? Okay, uh, I don't want any of those. Uh, the Anarchist Cookbook randomly puts bombs in a room, which is terrible because you end up hurting yourself. And that, I think, is the Book of Sin? Book of Shadows. It uh, gives you a, an ability, I think, uh, every room randomly, which it always seems to give me that little, like, force field. So maybe it just gives you a force field, but I think it just it randomly gives you an effect. It's, it's definitely not nearly as good as... Um, the Book of Revelations is what I'm using right now. Oh, a chest in a box. A flat penny. I wonder if the Ace of Spades was, was helping me win so much when I was playing that shell game. 
Flat penny. Flat penny probably gives you something to do with money. I don't want money. I'd rather have the luck, I guess. Whoa! Book of Revelations again. Uh, our angelic fetuses. And then once you have 99 or something, like the 99 bombs I have, you can't get any more. Whoa! What are you? It's like a, a, like a monstro reskin that shoots spiders. Huh, pretty cool. Okay, whoa. Two of clubs. Chariot. Let's try the two of clubs. Let's see what this does. We'll, I'll use it on the, uh, we'll use it here. Okay, what'd that do? <laughs> oh. I'm not sure what that did. Ooh, almost knocked him into me. Well, he wasn't attacking, so maybe it prevented him from attacking. I, I doubt it. Or maybe you, if you get like a, a straight or like a two of a kind if with multiple ones, you get something. I don't know. Wouldn't put it past it. But we'll go back, get the chariot again. This will be our oh shit card. And this should be the final boss. Um, I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> oh shit. Shoot him, 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 shoot him. Oh my god. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Am I maybe not supposed to kill him? Oh god. <laughs> okay, besides the fact that it's just really hard to figure out what the hell he's gonna shoot at, he's pretty easy. Okay, I'm just going to keep sitting here. <laughs> so he, he does some of the different moves that you can in the game. It's like a Castlevania boss. Oop, got hit. Okay. I guess that was it? Uh, okay, so same ending if you beat everything. All the different characters. Okay. Uh, so I guess we beat it. Um, we had a super crazy, freaking awesome, amazing um, build. Here's here's all the different monsters. That's new. Deeper fists. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, boy. Have our deadly sins. Our bosses. <laughs> yeah, I love the end song. So messed up. A horseman. Oh, I think it's tweaking out just to be like creepy. <laughs> Okay, um, ooh, and we, looks like maybe we're putting something together. Uh, I couldn't tell you, this, this has been, uh, The Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb, a first Let's Play blind Let's Play, uh, with H.J. Tenchi, and I would love to continue making these for you. Um, if this is something you want to see, please let me know, and, uh, if you have any idea what the hell is going on, Feel free to let me know. This Wrath of the Lamb expansion pack is freaking insane. And I love it. So everyone, have a good day.